Triple M or MMM stands for midget, magna, and magnet. The three types of cars that were produced from the late 20s until 1936. The midgets were all four-cylinder cars. The magnas and magnets were six-cylinder cars, all with a single overhead cam driven by a vertical dynamo, gear driven from the crankshaft through the dynamo and another set of bevel gears to drive the single camshaft. The whole alphabet soup of models, starting with the M, C, J, P, R, and Q were all four-cylinder cars. The F, L, N, and K were six-cylinder cars, all either midgets, magnets, or magnets. The factory produced a little over 11,000 of these cars in that period of time between the late 20s and 1936 when hard times, you know, hard economic times and new ownership of the factory said no more racing, no more fancy engines, we're going to a pushrod engine and the T-types were born in 1936, the TA and TB and then World War II and then the TC which is much more commonly known. But there's a pretty hard core of aficionados that have cared for these Triple M cars over the years and they're still probably not quite half of that 11,000 still existing, probably close to 4,000 around the world. Uh, there are a lot of uh, restorers, a lot of parts available. It's like most any hobby, you just throw money at something and it appears. But you can get engines, components, blocks, all sorts of components, and you can make a silk purse out of almost anything. And a lot of these cars here are examples of that, where they have been rust buckets. But So here today we have M-types, J, P, L, F, and uh, some different body styles. Down the line we have the airline coupes. Most of these are open cars, most are roadsters. We have one four passenger car, that's an L1 down the line here. And the airline coupes are two seaters with beautiful enveloped body. So there you have it, the triple M cars.